So I have a question for Ryan. I wanted to wait until the podcast to ask him. When was the last time you got a pap smear? A what? A pap smear. The last time, you know, they looked down there. I don't know what that is. Kyle, how about you go ahead and advise him as to what that is? (sighs) Ryan, a pap smear is a thing that they do with females. They inspect your vagina and they take your hoo-ha. a pap smear, yeah, your hoo-ha of yeast. Is this a bridge into that stupid amaranth beer? Hundred percent. Oh my percent. <laughs> Coming up soon, we have Ryan's pap smear beer. Coming hey, soon. Yo. <laughs> no, that's an intro. <laughs> I want a, I want a drink at. 1 p.m. after the hit. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Caleb Boudreaux, the editor in chief of Extraordinary Life. Online, and this is episode number 35 of the Joystick Junkies podcast. Um, and yeah, as, as we kind of alluded to in the beginning, Amaranth is getting her own beer. Um, and Ryan said he is really excited about it. So why don't you go ahead and take us through this, uh, Ryan? (laughs) First of all, I have my lawyer prep for a defamation suit. Second of all, um, (laughs) that is absolutely, it's just disgusting. It, it reminds me of like the Belle Delphine bathwater thing. Honestly, at least this one's safe to drink. I think (laughs) I completely agree with, um, with Charlie, you know, moist critical in saying that he has more respect for the people who bought the bath water than the people who buy the beer. Yeah. Okay. But like the thing is, (laughs) if I remember correctly, people drank the bath water, at least this one's designed for you to drink. Right. Like, I mean, you would think apparently. So he looked into the company. Apparently, um, they have brewed beers before based on other women's yeast and they have sold relatively well. So well, I so wonder how many of her simps are going to jump on this. My concern is, are there enough of her simps that are of legal drinking age? in the US? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. Well, we all um, know Caleb's going to have a pallet of it. Hey, pallet. <laughs> first of all, God. First of all, no. Um, you, you, we all know it's Riley that actually has the fucking the taste yeah, you're right. for you're right um, for craft beers. Oh my god, beer is beer. I I'm, the craft beer community is so stingy and annoying. Like this beer is called "I was abused by my uncle when I was 16. How does it taste? <laughs> like I don't care. I don't even like beer. I just like dark. Neither beer. do like, I. Dark beer is the only beer I can tolerate. Like Shiner Bock, that's it. See, the first time that I met Riley, they um, we went to a liquor store in uh, shit. Where is uh, where's your office located? Uh, it, it's one of the suburbs of Dallas. I'm not gonna. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Kyle live yeah. on podcast. Bro, my company's <laughs> name has been on my shirt multiple times. I don't care. But uh but we we went it's to one of the broker. right. We went to uh one of the liquor stores out there mm-hmm. and she found the hoppiest of hoppiest beers. Ugh. And it just ugh, smelled like skunk. The moment she opened it, it was horrible. Just horrible. Yeah, the only beer I enjoy is dark beer, like Shiner Bock. That's it. My brother drinks like Miller Lite and like, I mean, I like Guinness because that's also dark. But my brother downs Keystone and Miller Lite. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) He really is. The only... Beer that I drink is like hard lemonade or Did hard root beer. This motherfucker just throw air quotes around beer. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> hard lemonade is not beer. No. Like hard it's soda is not beer. It's a seltzer, bro. It's not a seltzer. I will I die on that hill. Amaranth is selling like pussy juice All beer. Right, like it's disgusting. <laughs> pussy like, juice. Honestly, beer. Ew. Look, don't say it that way. I will. I will. <laughs> That's what my brain <laughs> is. I will die on this. I don't blame her. I I really don't. I do not blame Amaranth one bit. If she can profit even more off of everyone, what that about absolutely... her self-respect? Eh, sure. Has. All what she about has her to dignity? do is no, no, on no, her deathbed. On. She's gonna have to tell her grandkids, "I sold pussy beer." Like, <laughs> think about if she ever has kids. Think about how much bullying that child is going to endure. Well, I mean, okay, and think about I mean, that with all of the OnlyFans models. Like, no, at least my mom didn't have an OnlyFans. Checkmate, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's well, going look, to be the future. No, it'll be. I'm good. just gonna say <laughs> that fucking kid <laughs> is gonna wipe away his tears with hundred dollar bills. Okay, so yeah. hundred dollar bills generated from pussy juice beer. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't respect it at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> but are I legitimately, we a gaming podcast? You, we are. We are. We're gonna get into the gaming topics. Don't worry. Um, no, we're an arc channel, bro. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, hold on. Before we get into that, let me finish my statement. I don't okay. blame her one bit. If she can find a way to happily monetize people who only look at her content for the way that she looks, by all means, boo boo monetize it i mean i guess we'll, we'll leave it at a that if you want left before the looks expire you know it's inevitable it will happen it will but, happen yeah, ryan yeah. ryan is there a reason why you're wearing a hat Ooh, show mm. us show us mm. show no, us, not show off. us. <laughs> my dad okay my dad was bald by the time he was like 17 <laughs> i know some people like, like that actually yeah, but bald is a look bad. now. It really is. Like in the yeah. in the nineties or whatever, it was pretty like oh, stingy. But oh, by the way, speaking of the nineties, there is something that I want to throw out, and this is kind of a serious topic. But an actor from Friends did recently oh, yeah. pass away. So I just want to pay my respects to Matthew Perry and his family and everything like that. Like I think he was why his found family at his hot tub. His yeah. family and his friends. Like, they lost him. What do you mean? Why his family? But why pay them respect? Like, pay, pay your respects for Matthew Perry, but, like, give your thoughts like, and prayers like to their family and, and friends, yeah, maybe? Yeah, but, like, yeah. dude, why would you pay respect? Well, they're, they're still alive. Why are you okay. questioning the fact that I'm trying to be nice? Okay, well, to be fair, last night Ryan did say that Tyler Perry passed away, and I was like, <laughs> no. To be fair, I was drinking <laughs> last night, okay? Ugh. Yeah, I've also no, never seen. At least like, he can. At least he can definitely, you know, make amends now and actually yeah. say the correct Perry. <laughs> but yeah. all, all no, we, but it, all dude, we it, should be. Uh, what we should do is we should all play uh, Fallout New Vegas specifically to to pay our respects to Matthew Perry because he was the bad guy in that game. Oh my god! Oh yeah, that's true. So is, time to go reinstall it. The game was rigged from the start. <laughs> No, but, but it's it's yeah because I I enjoyed Friends. It's something my entire family watched together while I was growing up. It was a good show. I'm gonna be honest. It's creepy without the laugh track, but that's just me. That's um, true. Have you tried to watch like SNL with the laugh track removed? Yes, I'm it's sorry, <laughs> most of them are bad. They really are. But uh, since we sorry. are deep down an arc channel, oh, yeah. I wanna I wanna be the first to say both of you are fucking hypocrites. And I, I'm just gonna say it because whenever the, the the arc news broke, and I've already I've already talked to Ryan about this before the arc news broke, I legitimately said this is a cash grab. No one should buy it. It should not be a thing. First day it comes out, Ryan's like, "Update, I got it. It's fun." What? Checkmate. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I fully embrace the fact that I'm a, a hypocrite. Like it's a fun game. If you have a 4090 or a 4080, if you don't, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, don't you need like the highest of high hardware to fucking well, so even open it? My counter to that is good on Studio Wildcard for advancing graphics more. I feel like we haven't seen much advancement because studios have become complacent with monetizing games for the GTX 1060 and 1660 because they're the most used cards on Steam. Holy hell. 
that that get should a better have PC. get a better PC. That, that there should, should have be been some prefaced. games. Checkmate. There, spend there $1, should $1, be <laughs> games that push yeah. the envelope of graphical capabilities. And Unreal Engine Five is here, and it is going to keep happening. Games are going to keep looking better. Unreal Engine Five is going to become the standard, just okay, like but, with Unreal Engine Four, moving from Unreal Engine Three. It's going to happen. I still stand by the it's fact that you should still optimize your games to be enjoyed on it multiple systems. It is optimized for a 30 If it is better. all... <laughs> exactly. A card that's like four years old. Caleb, Look, can you remake that noise, please? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I probably can if we're I'm being I sound like a still. drunk Rottweiler. I am pro. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, Caleb had a little bit too much of that amber at the pussy juice. Beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will die on the hill that there needs to be some games like Crisis, for example, that just push the envelope of graphical fidelity. And we haven't had anything crazy like that in a long time. Red Dead Redemption 2 was beautiful and optimized, but the truth is most games don't have access to that Rockstar money. So Rockstar can make a game beautiful and optimized. Studio Wildcard can't. They don't got that kind of money. Studio Wildcard sold the same game multiple times. I'm pretty sure that they can afford to optimize for more than just 30, 80 and above. Sorry, okay, but sue also me. the it's not Studio Wildcard's fart or fault necessarily. It's fart. not. It is not Studio okay, Wildcard's fault. Let, let, let me finish. You my have fault. heard it let here. Let me finish my fault. It's <laughs> not heard it here. It's not their fault. It's not their fault because <laughs> Unreal Engine Five is kind of very hard to run. I have a game called Immortals of Avium. That's Unreal oh, Engine Five. Oh no, no, no! no. You are not about to sit on this fucking hill. I will because they are horrible. Dude, Bro, Unreal Engine. That you, was make a that game in Unreal horribly. Engine Five and optimize it. Do it oh, right now. I'm not Do it a right now. I'll give you ten minutes. I'll give you ten minutes. Make a game. motherfucker. <laughs> My point I, is I, Unreal I Engine Five. No. Unreal EA's Engine Five money. is hard to run. Okay. With it EA's is. money, that shouldn't have been a fucking issue, Ryan. It shouldn't have had that many. All issues. I'm saying, I'm going to play devil's advocate here because that's what I'm doing. All I'm saying is. There has been a consistent theme with games released in Unreal Engine 5 being hard to run because Unreal Engine 5 is a huge jump over UE4. It is the next generation of Unreal Engine, and so you need next generation hardware to push that. You need next generation hardware to play Ark Survival Ascended and Immortals of Avium and whatever other games are on Unreal Engine 5 mm, because feel. it is the next gen no. Bethesda could have done better. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Bethesda doesn't get an excuse. I, I liked Loading Simulator Field because I liked their games, but at the same time, at least the FPS was uncapped, right? That's that's an improvement. Remember, Skyrim and Fallout 4 needed 60 FPS for their engine to even work? <laughs> <clears throat> but no, UE5 is hard to run, and because of that, you're going to need to upgrade your PC. But UE5, we're just seeing the beginning of it. There's not that many games in UE5. So over the next couple years, we're going to see people upgrading their systems anyway. They're going to get the PS5 Pro. They're going to get the Xbox Series XXX. They're going to get whatever else comes next, right? The next NVIDIA card. 4090s will be cheaper when the 5090 comes out on the used market. People are going to upgrade their systems. It's not like they're going to stay on DDR4 forever. DDR5 is already the next platform for RAM. It, like, technology advances. Sorry. <laughs> so how's that soapbox there, Ryan? Smells good, at least. You know, it's a box of soap rather than a box of uh, pussy beer. So, <laughs> eh, that one, that one kind of. I'm just saying that it didn't really stick. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it will stick. No. Yes. No. Yes. I will make so you uncomfortable. <laughs> both of you. At the hall, I'm not uncomfortable, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that real fucking clear. I'm um, trying to still wake I up. I don't know what's going on. I will die on the hill that. Video game graphics need to be advanced. Unreal Engine 5 is here to stay. There will be more games made in it. Right now, there's just a handful, and those games are hard to run. Upgrade your system. What? That is my point. All right. Um, so Any both of you fuckwads have played it. Yes. How is it? Uh, how is uh, Buggy Arc in Unreal Engine 5? So, um, 
Kyle, you go first. I only have like four hours in the game. I think Ryan has room to talk more than I do. Okay, I feel like I've been talking too much, but yeah. you have, you have, you don't have. Worry. But keep going. This is going to be Ryan's <laughs> okay. podcast today. Um, well, so Ark Survival Ascended is fun if you have a system that can run it. Look at the recommended specs. It, it wants look, you to have a thirty eighty or above, and if you look, can feel, let's the just game, say it here. It's fun to play. Listen to Todd Howard. Even if you built a system <laughs> in the last three years, build another one because you're you're not good enough to run their games. <laughs> Starfield is it looks like it came out in 2014 and it runs like it came out in 2023 because 2023 is the year of unoptimized games it seems like cough cough Jedi Survivor huh you don't say <laughs> is it is it un, isn't optimized games meant to you know go on a broad platform isn't that what optimization really is yeah, if your game is out on Unreal Engine 4, you don't get an excuse. That's been out for a while, but UE5 is still new. And you're going to have to upgrade your system to play on UE5 because it is that much better. Have you lo- have you watched developer documentaries on UE5? Or, dude, can... Just move on. I, I trip over my words. I'm sorry. Ha ha, big funny. <laughs> but have you, have you watched documentaries on ue4 and ue5 and how different they are and how crazy the technology is like it is that i, I think it's interesting it's that big oh, of a jump they but, really so, are interesting but what i'm saying survival is survival ascended though i think the game is it's good i like it i never put that much time into survival evolved so i've played a little bit of it i've tried to run it and the funny thing is i remember when survival evolved came out that game was impossible to run so we've just came full circle with arc and its optimization i guess but um he admits it guys he admits it well wasn't okay i'm gonna look something up real quick because if i remember correctly survival evolved was one of the first ue4 titles i'm just getting flashbang while he's trying to figure it out (laughs) (laughs) it's not Uh, as bad as me getting flashbanged fuck well yeah because you don't have to deal with it when he where he gets flashbanged But yeah, anyway, it's Any it's, it's, it's a still good game, though. It's, in 2023 with with all of this. I don't know if if you are going to be charging people. What is it now? 50 bucks for Ascended? It's 40. OK, 40 bucks for a game with a discount. Though, that's so just a, <laughs> a reboot or not a reboot, but a remake of a game that's what maybe 10 years old that worked perfectly fine. The only reason it doesn't work on official servers anymore is because you wanted to remake it in, 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 in an Unreal Engine 5. Okay. You delayed your sequel to the game so that you can resell your old game booted back in. Like that's what, that's what you're not understanding, Ryan. That's why I'm calling I you think, a hypocrite. Yeah, it's because we all stood on the hill. Playing. Okay. But okay. it's because Let you me- pulled all of your resources into the remake Look, instead of building a new system and leaving the pretty, original alone. Game pretty, I don't care. Fucking gamer. <laughs> game look good. Graphics very good. No, but Fucking in all seriousness, gamer. though, Ascended is enjoyable. I never put that much time into Survival Evolved. So I'm like experiencing Ark kind of for the first time playing Ascended. It looks amazing. I've crashed a couple of times, but it's an early access game, so I can give them an excuse for that. Not saying Last it's justifiable, funny. but uh, <laughs> what happened uh, again? Uh, Nick, what happened? Uh, I don't know. Oh, we all disconnected. <laughs> Let me go check the server. Fucking Windows update on the server. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kicked us all <laughs> offline. Windows updated on the <laughs> server while we were playing because our, our buddy Nick, which is uh, Kyle's roommate, was hosting a server for Ark because one annoying thing, you don't have to host a server to play co-op, but if you just do co-op on Ark, you get like tied to a maximum distance from the person playing with you. So if you're the host and you go, let's say the maximum distance is 100 I think meters, it's 200 and you move meters. 101 meters, you drag the other person towards <laughs> you. Like the old Lego Star Wars games where one person wanted to go one way and the other person wanted to go the other way, and whoever was player one, they would just drag player two with them. Yeah. Like it's like that. Like you literally drag 
the person so, you're playing with along with I mean, Hewlett Park. We did we did use that as a feature when I was <laughs> over encumbered yesterday or the day before. Yeah. He was over encumbered and couldn't move because he had an inventory full of resources. So I just I ran think I had far away from the like, base. I think I had it, something like eight slots of wood. Yeah, and it just drug Jeez. him to the base. So we yeah. used it because like he couldn't move, but I could make him move. <laughs> yeah, he he yanked me to the door, and then I just offloaded everything into the fireplace, and I started going back to go get more. Yeah, and I will say, when I initially heard the news of Survival Ascended, I thought it was going to be just a cheap rehash of Survival Evolved, but you can tell that they did put real work into it. It looks incredible, and maybe you haven't looked at it and played it yet, but, but no, that's, to that's me and the Kyle, point. The graphical fidelity is insane. It looks so good. They're not charging full price for it. And well, no, but as somebody who's played a lot of survival open world games, nobody really plays on the official servers. Most people play on the community hosted servers, and those are still up on Survival Evolved. <coughs> Daisy's official servers are never that full. Most people play on Daisy's unofficial servers. Same with Arma Exile. Same with. Um, yeah, I'm drawing blanks, but there's more games like that that people don't really play on the official servers because there's no mods. People like to mod those games. There's already mod support in Survival Ascended, and the mod support on Survival Evolved, you can't play with those mods on official servers anyway. So why would you want to do that? It makes There's no XP multiplier. It takes a lot longer to level up. It's a slow grind. Most people play on the unofficial servers, and those are still there for Survival Evolved. I get that, but it still goes back to my point. Arc 2 was delayed because they pulled most of their people to Survival Ascended to sell a rehashed version. Granted, as you say, with better graphics. Better physics, better graphics, better okay. sound. All of that could have gone into Arc 2 and released on time and would have kept their legacy of Survival Evolved fine. Now they're known as the Cash Grab Queens. They're known as the cash grab queens of the week. Video game, like I'm, video game developers pull shady shit like this all the time. But it doesn't excuse them. Why was The Last of Us remastered into The Last of Us remastered and then re remastered again? Last of Us was PS3 and then it was remastered for the PS4, which was not that big of a graphical jump with The Last of Us. And then it was actually remastered. You know, you you had like this a year ago. You had this same exact <laughs> argument the last time we talked. It was remastered from PS3 to PS4 because mm -hmm. it came at the PS3 at the end of the PS3's life cycle. And then I remember they said they were not going to remaster it for PS4 either, and then they did because I have a friend who bought the game on PS3. They bought a PS3 to play the game, and then it was remastered on PS4 almost a year and a half to two years after that. He was very mad because they said that they were not going to do that, and then they did. Exactly. But they lied. that's why they did it. But they lied. And then... I'm not saying that they didn't lie. They're still scummy <laughs> pieces of shit for doing it. Like, don't, don't, don't get me confused. Like, I'm not saying Sony good, wildcard bad. Like, all of them are bad. But well, let it me didn't stop me from buying saying, it four times. Okay. All the, all, all the uh, <laughs> publishers are bad. The developers are good. We're not mad at developers for the decisions that their publishers make. Like with the whole Rockstar thing and no GTA 6 trailer in October and all the GTA online, like, oh be my mad at God. Take Two. Be mad at Take Two. Take Two is the one, it's not Rockstar's fault. Those ground floor developers are just doing what they're told to do. Be yeah, mad and, at Take Two. And it's it's the same with the whole, <laughs> the, the worst game of 2020, somehow not being Gollum, but King Kong. I haven't seen that much about King Kong. What's so, the deal with that game? It's I can almost guarantee you it is not a single developer who was like who woke up one morning and was like, you know what? I'm going to make this shit ass game <laughs> and I'm going to be proud of making this shit ass game. You know, I'm sure they wanted to make it the best that they could possibly do. What studio is behind it? Game Mill. I don't know who that is. The same company that did um, Big Rig Over the Road Racing. What? I don't know what that is. Either. What the fuck? Wait, you didn't Okay, so that's the that's the uh eighteen wheeler racing game where if you went in reverse, your speedometer was unlimited. So you can actually go faster in reverse than you could if you went straight, like if you went forward. What? 
You've never heard of this? Oh my god, that is a rabbit hole that you need to jump like as fast as you can down. Like that is that is fucking wild. I'm very confused, but okay. <clears throat> but yeah, uh um, I thought that King Kong game was like some kid's school project or something. I didn't realize no, there was an it's, entire it's a full team. It is a full development team. They also did um av a avatar game. Um didn't one of those recently come out and it sucked? That's the same studio. They put out two of the worst games of this year in the same year. Yeah, Kyle, what's the Ooh. name of it? Which one? The the most recent Avatar game. I don't even know. Way of the Wind or something like that? I think so. Way Let me look water? it Avatar, up. Way of the Water? No, Way of the Water is... Um, Way of the Water is the movie. Um, wow. Let's see... Game Mill Entertainment. They did Nick Kart Racers, NHRA, Speed for All, Little League World Series. Oh, they did Nickelodeon All Star All Star Brawl. That's a All Star Brawl, Nickelodeon. Why does that sound familiar to me? What year did that come out? Um, that came out, I think, last year. Okay. Was it? Oh, it was the Nickelodeon like Super Smash spinoff thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember that. Um, let's see. Skull Island: Rise of Kong. Um, oh, so they only do, they only published it. I am so sorry for like throwing that out there. They were the publishers. The developer is Iguana B. Never heard of them. Neither have I. Um, so it could have been like a really small team then. Because like, I, I mean, they have they understand. have released quite a few. Um, let's see. G.I. Joe Operation Blackout was Game also Iguana B uh, in 2020. Um, what Lies in the Multiverse, Little League World Series Baseball, um, and so Skull like Island a, Rise of Kong. So they're not a AAA company then. They're like a double A no. company. Um, or maybe just an A ah company. You know? They're not A ah or A. Ah. They're just ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're Have not, you seen uh, that video of the guy uh, reading out the batteries? Uh. Yeah, what kind of batteries do you need? Do you need ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, or ah? Uh? <laughs> oh, man. No, but um, speaking of ah, uh, <clears throat> Alan Wake 2 came out this week, you know? That was a very <laughs> bad segue, my guy. <laughs> I know, that was I love horrible. It. I love it. It was so bad. But yeah, I never played the first one. Did you? either of you play Alan Wake? I have it. I haven't started it yet. It's one of those that that I want to do something on, but I just haven't it's had the just time. On your list, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I've heard good things about it. Oh, overall. it's yeah. From what I it hear, it is good. leaps and bounds over the original. There was yeah. a uh, there was a reviewer that did a review on it that had their uh, I think it might have been Skill Up, who had their review taken down because he why he said some very controversial things about the game like he didn't give it a 10 out of 10 he didn't adore it he had like actual criticisms of the game and then the video got like demonetized or something like that now i don't know why i don't know correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation so i don't know why that happened but yeah please look into this because i've already made a made an ass of this podcast with the whole game <laughs> mill <laughs> developing all i know is that uh they're their review was like demonetized or something, but it also could be because there's graphic images in the game, right? Mm. So it could be that, but YouTube's also like, I remember there was a situation with Corey Kenshin and Markiplier where they had the same like video play from like a, a horror game that was very gruesome and Corey Kenshin got demonetized, but Markiplier didn't. I remember that controversy, yeah. Yeah, and then they, they fixed it by just taking down Markiplier's monetization on the video. Yeah. But, oh man. I, I haven't been on the podcast in like a week. Did y'all talk about the whole Jax Films Sniper Wolf situation at all? I don't know, Kyle. Did we last week? What? Um, that S -S 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 Sniper Wolf, 
Doc's J -J 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 Jax films. Oh, yeah. I really wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so Sniper Wolf posted a picture of the outside of Jax Films' house and said, come out, let's talk or something like that to her Instagram with 5 million followers. Yeah. And this happened like a little over it's, a week It's ago. not that big. It's only like five and a half million people. You know, yeah, it's... But, mm. And it's because that Jax Films, and he's he's done this for several other creators. He's made fun of Smosh in his past. He's made fun of Ryan Higa in his past. He's made fun of... Uh, the try guys with the react channels that don't exist anymore as far as i know they're not like popular but um he uh he's been making fun of sniper wolf with her low effort tiktok reaction content where she just kind of stares at a screen and does reactions so predictable that he created a bingo game and watches one of her videos and like if she does like if she forgets oh, the to bingo react, card yeah yeah, yeah the that's bingo a spot card. on the bingo or if she says if she calls somebody bro that's a spot on the card or if she says like other commonly used phrases by her he can make an entire bingo game that can generate a bunch of very different cards based on how predictable she is because she puts no effort into her content all she None does all. is steal other people's work and she makes bank doing it like and she doesn't even the least she could do is just have their username in the video while she reacts to that. But in some of them, it looks like her editing team purposefully crops them out. Yep. So you don't even see who the original creator is. Or she starts the video two or three seconds into the video and then steals the joke from the beginning and then just cuts it out. So you make it, she makes it look like it was her original joke. And yeah, like she so, was just predicting it. And it's like, oh yeah. my God, they thought the same thing. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. And so. The good news that's come out of this whole Jax film situation with Sniper Wolf, other than the, the doxing, the doxing is inexcusable and she should have been deplatformed for that. But YouTube changed their freaking policy to bend the rules to protect her. And like, I think a week later, I mean, do you blame them? Do you blame them? I think they have a they, bunch. She of brings in billions a year just from her. Okay. Still, she broke the rules. Oh no no no! I I I agree. Yeah. Like don't they make, they don't make, take this as as yeah. me like trying okay. to defend her. Yeah, you're playing like, devil's advocate like I was with Studio Wildcard. I get it. Yeah, but like I, I don't blame you two, but the least they could have done with this ban for like a month of no monetization is just done it immediately rather than wait a week. Yeah. I mean, the same thing that happened with uh, Logan Paul and the Suicide Forest thing where he found a dead body and put it on a vlog channel. And then l later he said, I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. That so, quote is speaking of that, in my brain. Speaking of that, there have actually um, been findings that that person may have just been an actor. That they weren't actually dead. Yeah, I... I knew he was stupid, but I never thought he was dumb enough to just film a dead body. So if that's the case, that's still extraordinarily disrespectful to Japanese culture. But at least it wasn't an actual dead body. I don't know. I, guess. I don't know how that, wasn't incredible that, like five that is. Years but ago? Like it's a little. Oh, it's, too it's been too more late. than five <laughs> years, but like it's come out uh, like it wasn't him that released it. It was like an investigation. People like looking into this because, you know, Internet sleuths be sleuthing. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, well, I uh. just doxing like internet beef is internet beef. And there is a very big disconnect from the internet in real life. I'm sure every single person watching this podcast has said some stuff online that they would never say to somebody's face in person. Yeah. Like, I mean, actually just, let's, you're protected by a screen. So yeah, let's, let's get this out of the way. I do actually want to talk. I do have internet beef with someone. His name is space not. And he's just sitting there, not contributing no, to sorry, this podcast. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused on my auto insurance because they're about to charge me. And, go, go, uh, go, 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 auto. Fun fact. So uh, go, 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 this go is kind yourself. of off topic as fuck because it's about my auto insurance. So <laughs> yeah, as people may or may not from. know. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Even better. Welcome to the um, Joystick Junkies without Ryan where we just jump from topic yeah, to no, topic. No. Uh, so... My car was totaled, so I got a new, or not a new new car, but a whoa, new whoa, to me car. When? My Solara was totaled. Wait, what? Yeah, it was. 
So, you know, I was like, I was okay, wondering cool. where it went. You just stopped fucking talking about it. Yeah, no, it, someone hit the side of my car and just completely totaled the fucking oh, yeah, thing. Oh, yeah, and it was a hit and run, Bent too, the right? frame in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I remember okay. that was taken care of. But then all of a sudden, my new car, my new quote, it's going to be $1,800 a year, right? Not too expensive for two cars at my Okay. Age. I just went to look at how much I had to pay, and it was $3,200 fucking dollars. Did Why? Did a payment? No. So I just emailed my my uh, insurance adjuster. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You told me it was going to be 1800 and now I'm getting hit with a $3,000 bill? I can't pay that, and I'm not going to pay it because that's not what it is. Explain it to me, please. Because I don't have three grand sitting around to just pay for my fucking auto insurance. Yeah. Especially when the, the wreck bills. wasn't even, the totaling wasn't even your fault. Yeah, It exactly. was literally parked in a parking spot and a drunk driver was like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. jump a curve. Like, yeah, just fucking hit me. How am I, how am I going to pay three grand for auto insurance when before that it was two grand for those two cars? And now that car got replaced with one that has lesser value. How is my insurance even more? Yeah. Someone fucking explain that to me. I'm not going to pay that. Kyle just needs to build a garage out of like obsidian or something and Legos. keep his cars in there. Like he has the worst car look garage out of, out of Legos. I've ever met. You I need say to get we like build a spikes garage. on all of your tires and then like surround your vehicles with like bulletproof coating or whatever. Like just yeah. bubble have wrap. an entire yeah, surround them in bubble wrap. <laughs> <you know? laughs> um, plus, I'm a gold level with progressive. Why the fuck are they charging me three fucking grand? Wait, you're only for, gold? I'm platinum. Yeah. Motherfucker, you know how much younger I am than you? Yeah, Caleb, wow. I actually don't know how old you are. I just realized this. Wait, how do you not know how old I am? You've never told me. That's I have legitimately, I have legitimately what, told you. What, you can't before. tell by his balding how old he is? Yeah, I mean, hey, like, I'm balding too, and I'm 24, so. <laughs> Can you not tell by this, uh, this widow's <laughs> peak here? I don't know, man. <laughs> God take, damn! Take the hat off. Yeah. Take the hat off. Take the hat off. Take the hat take off. Take it off. <laughs> take okay, it on. off. Take I'm it gonna off. I'm going to guess real quick, though. 32. All right, Kyle. Uh, I'm you not guess. getting involved. No, 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 no. no. Guess. Uh, I'm going to say 28. Kyle's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. You keep, you act like you're you keep saying I'm so much older than you. you're not you're four years older than me. <laughs> yeah, well, he's but the got way you were talking years. about it, I thought you were in your thirties. He's got five years on me. Plus, I'm not even twenty five yet, so my insurance is expensive as fuck. Yeah, uh, now, our my insurance up like until yours, you know? up until like a year ago, my insurance was more than my fucking car note. Yeah. For a $16,000 car. Both of my vehicles are fucking paid off. I owe nothing on them. That's ridiculous. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, it's so irritating. Ryan. Ryan, take it off. Yeah, what's up? You said after you, you said after you guessed, motherfucker, that you were going to take it off. Let's see that widow's peak. No, it's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a widow's peak. It's a widow's point. Let's see, uh, oh shit, what's his name? Um, in uh, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, get it, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I love bad jokes. Your, joke, your jokes are bad and you should feel bad. But no, Withers. I love let's see that. that with, let's see that Withers scalp. Let's go. Hold on, I just got a Canvas notification. I need to see what this is. No, no, you don't. No, I, you I just take off your hat. Hey, if this cringe. is my grade, <laughs> cringe, cringe. Okay, it's just a giant <laughs> announcement by my professor that I'm not going to read because it doesn't matter because I've already finished all the classwork for next week. Um, uh, there we go. That's not bad. Get the fuck out of here. Let me just do this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. It's bad. That's pretty, pretty bad. bad. <laughs> see, I I have my hair long, so you can't really tell. Oh man. Well, see, I used to have. It's so weird. This it's is the backwards. Kyle's the one with the the long hair now. That used to be me, but now I keep my hair pretty short. All things considered. Yeah. I'm see, this is the off. only balding that I have, and it's do, not. Do you even... not see this hairline right here? It goes. Eh. Yeah. It took a, it took a turn. <laughs> Your hairline took a right. <laughs> I've, I've known you for what? Close to two years at this point, And I've just now fucking noticed that. You never noticed my hairline goes. No. 
<laughs> Not at all. <laughs> to be fair, uh, I don't spend much time looking at your hair, though. So Yeah. Why, why do you think I always sit facing this way? <laughs> I just figured you'd look at your, your mini monitor. Yeah. Yeah. I put it over there for a reason. Because if I was looking this way... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Someone at work commented about my hairline. They're like, man, is your ponytail too tight? I went, no, I started balding. <laughs> <laughs> and then showed them a photo of my uncle when he was 16. Yeah, no, my uncle has a full head of hair, but my dad doesn't. And my dad's dad didn't. And his dad also didn't. And my brother's about to be, My brother's hair is worse than mine. <laughs> like, No, okay, so my uncle on my mom's side, my grandfather on my mom's side, my great-grandfather on my mom's side, Balder than a motherfucker. No fucking hair at all. Not even facial hair. But I have facial hair and I'm losing the hair on my head. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. bad for my brother because he his beard does not yeah, come out as Caleb, cool as look mine at that. Does. L- look at that line. Yeah, that line's pretty fucking bad, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But you know what's not bad? The segue to our sponsor? No. <laughs> no. Damn. Kyle's going to okay. be good at that if we ever do get a sponsor. Though. Like, right. I, uh, <laughs> so I put LTT segues. on when I go to bed. And yeah. I get I get violently awoken whenever Linus goes, This segue to our sponsor. And then it's James reading about fucking Skillshare. No. <clears throat> My favorite one the in, the, in the past couple yeah. videos was whenever they uh, redid the, the pool water cooling. And his <laughs> fucking son was like, his son was like, okay, well, what do you, do you want to help us with it? And he's like, sure. Can I tell them about our sponsor? I was so and upset. Then, yeah, and Linus <laughs> is just like, oh. And Jake's like, that's my son. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I want to talk about Spider-Man 2. Good old Spider-Man. I didn't play it. I didn't play it. I didn't play it. Yeah, we have it, to be careful uh, with spoilers. With I'm not going to spoil it. I really I don't just, give a fuck. I just want to say, it is a really good game. Um... It is. The one thing that I find a little odd is I know like Why? pre-rendered I know pre-rendered like character art is going to look different than a character in motion. But why does Mary Jane's character art look different than her in-game character art? Like it's MJ's it's not even like it, it looks, looks so uncanny. Bad. It looks so bad. MJ's face. Most of the faces in the game, especially in the beginning, look so bad. Yeah, like you start to get used to them, but it's almost it it almost gets to an uncanny level where it's like, okay, I know they're trying to be human, but it's Bruh. almost like they're failing to try to be human. Yeah, and it's, instead of just making good video game characters, they're making bad humans. <laughs> you well, no, like her character art. Whenever they release the pre-release, like the pre-rendered cutscene of, uh, um, oh god, I'm looking at photos. What the fuck? MJ's right? face in game like, in Spider-Man One looks so much better than it does in Spider-Man Two. Yeah, what and I'm happened? not even saying like <clears throat> once again the first trailer where her face was showed off. It was a beautiful face, like beautiful facial model, like it was great. But somehow that to the final product. It almost seems uncanny. Like they Peter's tried. Face looks a little wild too at some point. Yeah, like in the game. It's, it's even hairy. Miles. Like Miles is the only one that looks, looks normal. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I'm not saying I'm, we're not going into a conspiracy corner here. I'm not trying to say that it's because, oh, they're trying to make Miles look good because, you know, something's going to happen to Peter. Like, no, that's not what's going to happen. But like, it's. I don't get it. Like, I really don't. I like, think that because all of the game, pour... all, all of the in, all of the um, cutscenes are rendered in engine. Yeah. That way, the the suits that you're wearing go into the cutscene. Mm-hmm. That's so true. How how was the cutscene <laughs> for the trailer? Her face was normal and not uncanny, and then now that the whole game is out, her face is uncanny, and it's like because the trailer she's a was, skinwalker. The trailer was a trailer, so they triple, quadruple, quintuple rendered it to make everything look the best it can so is this puddle no. gate is this puddle gate no it's okay. face gate this time it's not puddle so, gate, it's face gate. <laughs> so um i i just happened to like find some random ass article from india today gaming.com right <laughs> oh god oh, no. oh and, god and there's this lovely quote in there by a random disappointed fan peter looks tired mj looks hot and miles looks like he wants to punch his barber 
I have nothing against any of the faces, but it gets annoying seeing them change. It's like watching a movie franchise, and every t- new, every new installment, they recast the actors, and no one says anything. <laughs> Yeah. God. <laughs> well, and so like there are sequences in Spider-Man 2 where minor spoiler alert where you play as a younger version of Peter mm-hmm. and the younger yeah. Peter looks like Tom Holland. Yeah. I don't know if that is an intentional design, but well, it looks like Tom Holland. I liked the original face structure from the original 2018 release of Spider-Man for Spider-Man. And then they yeah. changed well, it in Spider-Man remastered. They mentioned they mentioned that they did it th- that way to make it sort of look like Tom Holland because they wanted to bring in more casual like MCU enjoyers. Yeah. But one thing that I love, this isn't really a spoiler, I don't think. Um, but just in case you don't want to know anything about the game, um, I, I mean, I, I doubt that it's going to be that big of a spoiler. It's one of the collectibles that you can find. So if, if you don't want to know about that, I guess... Um, the little, uh, spider verse spider bots. Yeah. Yeah. How they tie it into across the spider verse. That, that's just, that's just great. Like, I love it. it. It's just, you, you see them and it's like, Oh, shit. Sure. My favorite one was the spider ham one. <laughs> no, they're, they're really funny. And I like one thing that I really like about Spider-Man too, is I got to a point once again, minor spoilers where you play as MJ and I'm like, Oh God. God, not this again. She's so slow. <laughs> she from can't the do anything. One. She always gets caught. Co- she is competent in Spider-Man 2. She can hold finally. her own. Fucking Thank finally. God, it was so annoying where I would like accidentally turn a corner too fast because the controls were a little weird for MJ in the first Spider-Man game. And then bam, there's a Sable guard and I'm detected and mission failed. Yeah. Bro, can we just get a game about <laughs> Eddie Brock finally? Like, come on. Well, the thing is... Uh, that's a major spoiler if you talk about the symbiote no i'm I'm not so okay. they already said that eddie brock's not in this game they've said that multiple times before the game's release mm-hmm. yeah. so it's not i'm not spoiling because i don't even know who ends up becoming like the Ooh. bro you know eddie brock is in Fortnite. just make a fucking master game about chief Venom, please and spider-man and Captain America but, and Star Wars clones are in Fortnite. Fortnite doesn't count. Everything is in Fortnite. Right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but but like it's it's interesting. I'm I'm really interested to see cuz I'm not very far into I just saved um the lizard, which is the the first gameplay sneak peek that you got in trailers. Um, just finished that Ooh. mission and I started doing more side stuff. So I'm not very, I'm not terribly far. I think I'm only like a third of the way through the story, according to the percentage mar- marker on the menu. Yeah. Um, but so that's overall progression, including your collectibles. It's not just story progression. Oh, well then, yeah, maybe further along yeah. or not so further along, but, um, I'm I'm enjoying it. I can't wait to see who ends up becoming the traditional Venom. You know, you are in for a good time. There were I have a there, feeling I know I, who I it is. I predicted who it was going to be, and I was right about that. But then there are some things that happened that I did not see coming, and I was like, "Whoa, okay, that's a curveball." So yeah. I don't want to say what it is because I want you to be as surprised as I was, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you get there too. Yeah. My favorite, but, my favorite one though, it's it's a, my favorite one liner. Um, it's whenever you're having, I don't know, is it a spoiler? Because they they kind of tell you at the end of the first game that the symbiote is with Harry, right? Yeah. So like you know that he has it. You don't know like to the extent. But there's a fight that you're fighting alongside Harry, um, which I love the fact that you can just roll up to a crime and already see Miles beaten ass yeah. and taking names. Yeah. And then you just get there and he's like, oh, well, th- thanks for the help, but I got it. It's done. And then you can like walk up to him and press square. And sometimes you do like the Spider-Man finger point after. A yeah, fight too. <laughs> it's That's like, awesome. hey, <clears throat> um, but you're doing you're doing this fight scene with him and 
just out of nowhere, he, uh, oh, forgot Are the context. The carnival? No, 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 no. Um, it's after the carnival. He, he mentions, um, they start quipping back and forth and Harry's confused as to why he quips. Oh yeah. And he's like, uh, they start doing this thing and, um, Peter's like, man, no one has appreciation for plot twists anymore. I'm like, oh, God, something's about to happen. And it did. So it was great. <laughs> yeah. But now, the uh, and what I really love information about this broke like yesterday or the day before the Wolverine game that Insomniac is making is taking place in the same city, like the same instance of New York that the Spider-Man games take like same universe. It's going to be in New York. Okay, well, maybe not in New York, but I'm talking about like the same, the same like, universe, the same universe. Like, okay, that's fine. But I was about <clears> to say, I, I get like a, a lot of Xbox jabroni fanboys have been all over, all up in arms about um, how, oh, they they re so they did the city in Spider Man, then they reused the city for Miles Morales. Then they reuse the city for all of the DLC and the expansions. And then they redo the city, just add a bit more for this one. And it's like, if they did it for a completely different hero, I could then see, okay, look, you shouldn't have done New York again. Spider-Man? Counterpoint. Hands. What are those? Hold on. Spider-Man? Always. Yes. He is a defender in New York. Yeah. Under... Like that is completely excusable because that's where he's known to be. But Wolverine is sure <laughs> he's in New York, but he's Rochester, New York. It's yeah. not like Manhattan. It's not Brooklyn. It's not any of that. It's the country version of New York. Yeah, it's yeah. More, uh, it's New York is not urban. just New York City. Yeah. New York is a state. There is not just the city in the state for Are people you sure? outside of the U.S. <laughs> who don't understand. <laughs> There's people well, outside the U.S. who think that we still ride cow, like we're still cowboys in Texas. We still ride horses, and we still herd cattle on a daily basis. Wait, you don't? No, I've ridden a horse Caleb, once in my life, and I'm 24. <laughs> Caleb, you know that. No, so I but just, like I just figured he rode his sister complaint? to school, and and I don't Damn. have a sister. <laughs> That's Alabama. But and the uh, and the Spider-Man oh, complaint. Fair. What? Where would you want Spider-Man to take place? El Paso, Texas. What the fuck would he swing from? There's no buildings there. <laughs> Maybe if he was like three foot, he'd have all the cacti to swing around. But that's yeah, about but it. like <laughs> Spider-Man has to be in New York because his webs have to stick to something to swing. And if he's in like the middle of nowhere desert in Nevada, sure, there's you can say like the, the city of fucking devils or whatever they call Las Vegas. Like, sure, you have that. But like. If you're in a the desert, city there's nothing vice? to swing from. No, no, right. The city of Ryan, vice. Ryan, yeah. have you like, been Spider-Man to has to be in a city where have you, you can been swing to Vegas? from things. No, I, I don't think been. he has. The Strip yeah. is the only thing yeah. that has tall buildings. You yeah, get so two Spider-Man miles away from it, and it looks like it, it looks like downtown Dallas. Like the outskirts yeah. of downtown Dallas. That's what okay, it looks yeah. like. But like Spider-Man, Spider-Man has to be in New York. Speaking of which, Carrollton, Texas. That's the fucking name of this. That took you so fucking long to realize. Holy shit. I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But All like right. Wolverine, continue your point. Yeah. So Spider-Man has to be in New York because he has to swing from buildings that are big. So that, that there's no other place to put him in the U S that I can think of other than New York. Cause it has that big cluster and abundance of giant buildings and everything. And the cool thing is if it is also in New York with Wolverine, sure. Boo hoo. They use the same map. What if insomniac is working on like a little, mini mcu a bunch of different heroes spider-man wolverine maybe they get like a captain america game down the line maybe there's an iron man game down the line and then there's like a team up game where they're all together and it's oh like so marvel's, marvel's avengers, avengers but good yeah. <laughs> marvel's avengers but i good. was waiting for that <laughs> hold on maybe this well, time they won't abandon it well, oh yeah well so insomniac has been getting the superhero game right there's no loot boxes or tier system with loot and collectibles that don't matter. Like the collectibles in the Spider-Man game are interesting. And Just like, remember, they also no made loot. Ratchet and Clank rip a fart. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! I still haven't played that, but I've heard. That's they also made. Um, oh fuck! What is it? Um, Infamous. Feral no. right. Insomniac did make Infamous. I thought they did. Yeah, they did. Um, okay. Sunset did they? Overdrive. 
Wait, oh, yeah. no, that's oh uh, my God. no, they no. didn't. Oh, no, that's uh, Drive was an Xbox. that's Ghost of Tsushima. Um, Sucker oh, Punch no, they, made they infamous. Didn't, they did make a uh, Sunset, Sunset Overdrive. Overdrive. They did. It was yeah. before Sony was like, "Oh, we don't like you playing with our people." Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, really I'm looking big, at their games. I think a tie-in game would be cool, with, like Spider-Man and Wolverine. Like, oh my god, they're they both made, made by resistance. Insomniac. There's gonna be some sort of tie-in. Speaking of which, hold on. Um, me and Kyle were talking about um, Kyle and I, retard, dude. <laughs> listen, bitch. That that well with actual spoken English. English, English machine broken. Boy, so game. English so game go no. I'm so we hungry. we both I'm talked so about digitizing our movie library. Uh huh. Legally. Well, yeah. Uh, we own all the movies. That no we comment. Have. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Which one is that? The Spider Man collection from 2003. Um, Get that shit out of here, Caleb. Did it come with a discount for Uncle Ben's rice? Damn. Yeah, but it was expired. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like it's it's like um, Daredevil versus Spider Man, Return of the Green Goblin, and the Ultimate Villain Showdown. Dun dun dun! Yeah, I can't wait for you to see the post credit scene for Spider Man because they're subtle about what's coming, but you can tell what's coming. I'm excited. Ooh, I'm kind of excited for that though. Sorry, I'm I'm currently laughing at uh, Insomniac Games CEO, founder, and president. <laughs> What's their name? Is their name funny or something? Ted Price. No, but he's got some big ass Ted fucking Price. ears. Oh. Bruh, that's me. He can't do anything about that. Tape him back. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. God damn, man. Yeah. Uh, I, nah, he looks like an elf from a Christmas movie. Okay, side note. What's everybody's dream superhero game? It could be DC, it could be Marvel, it could be something else. Mine is Thor. I want a good Thor game. I think that could be so fun. Bro, Marvel's Avengers. I said good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Ant Man. Ant Man sounds be fun. cool. Like, but see, I'm more of an anti-hero like, type down. person, so you know, Venom. Deadpool. Or Deadpool already has a game, or two. Uh, yeah, and his game is good. Yeah. I remember PewDiePie played it back in the day. Yeah. See, mine was mine has to be. No one asked you. I literally. You literally asked. asked. I I did ask everybody. What do you mean? <laughs> I would love a Daredevil game in the shape of Sifu. Oh, that would be cool. Ooh. I want to get back into Sifu so bad, but like there's so many other good games out there. I want to get it on PC so I can uh, put put in a Daredevil costume just to be like, fuck yeah. But <sighs> I'm so hey, glad I got that on film. I yeah. got that on film. The camera was so, on you whenever that happened. That was just <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> so what is ev what is everybody playing right now? I'm playing Ark Survival Ascended, and I just beat Assassin's Creed Mirage last night. Call of Duty. <laughs> um, <laughs> yo, no, I you should have you should have hundred percent guessed that, Ryan. Like come I, on. I just started I playing Ass Creed Mirage. I just started um, playing it. I haven't touched Starfield since release day. Neither I, have I. I pre-ordered uh, it played... and beat the game before it released. Cringe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Technically, because of the early access release. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Cringe. I'm waiting for the DLSS update to put more time into it because game not optimized. Bethesda doesn't get an excuse. They have a loading screen between every area. <laughs> Bro, they have Bro, loading Bethesda screens have... 30 feet. They have <laughs> loading screens for your loading screens. Like, Yeah, uh, yeah accurate. But no, I've been playing um, Spider-Man 2 and Double still Baldur's Boogaloo. Gate 3. Baldur's Gate 3, yeah. Like, So I have my single-player campaign, and I'm doing the one on the stream. Um, But man, I'm finding so many things on the single-player campaign that we didn't do on stream. But we're too far, and we can't go back. Yeah. Which, by the way, hold on. I know no one watches the show this late, but I just want to call out Ryan real quick. 
tell me why this motherfucker was like, yeah, dude, I'll join you guys on stream. First time somebody asks him if he wants to go play Call of Duty. <laughs> you can play him. You can play that guy us. down there on my stream for that. <laughs> Look, the reason that I left and I probably won't return to the BG streams is just because uh, I don't really like the character that I'm stuck playing as and I didn't make the character. And Bro, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. At this point, you can respect him because he's he's... I don't think he's coming back. You don't think? Okay, if I can respect him, then yes, I want to. Wait, keep whose playing. character is that? It's Chase's. Oh, sounds like Chase. Well, no, you, he's, he has a lot timing. going on in his personal life, so like. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he's okay. going to be able to make it back. <laughs> okay, well, branching <laughs> off of Baldur's Gate three, then what are y'all predictions for uh, y'all's predictions? Baldur's Gate four. Oh, Baldur's Gate four. Predictions for game of the year because we've had some heavy hit, heavy hitters. Sorry, we've had uh, Spider Man two. We've had Tears of the Kingdom, Hogwarts Legacy, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield kind of flopped, but like, uh, what are the games that you think are going to win? Double I action think Baldur's Boogaloo. Gate I say Mr. Um, not Mr. Bean, um, Angry Bean. Double action Oh, Boogaloo. dude, I watched the episode that I missed, and he, Kyle didn't know what the, the beans were. Yeah. What? Yeah, see, there he goes again. Uh, what are you talking what is about? The, what is the I wow, the name of the franchise Killer Bean. Killer Bean. Oh yeah. no, I knew what it was. I just didn't know what it was called. Yeah, because like oh. I I saw uh, Charlie seen talk the about the movie several times, and then there's like a game coming out now too. Like <laughs> Killer Bean looks cool. It's fun, but yeah, Baldur's Gate three I think is gonna win Game of the Year because it's on every platform. So no, it's not it, on Xbox yet. Okay, well it's going to be on Xbox by the end of this year. Nope, it's not. Uh, I think they said Series they're, they're hoping for January. No, they already said it's not coming out on. So they, they said it's coming out on Series S and X, but Series S is getting a different version than X because Series S will not have split screen co-op, but Series X will. Because okay. Series S can't run it with split the screen Series co-op. The a mistake, man. I'm saying like the, the thing is so weak and like. Motherfucker. Hold so up. Many. You, you, so Series S was a mistake. Is that why you recommend Series S to people who want to get into gaming? That was me that recommended what? that. He did it too. I don't know why he's saying it, okay. it's a mistake. I mean. Let me rephrase. I don't think it's a mistake, but I don't think it's the best move that Microsoft could have made because it is it is holding them back. There have been several instances of the Series S getting inferior versions of the games because it can't run it. Because they wanted to push Game Pass and they wanted to push cloud gaming. Because if you can sell Game Pass with included yeah. cloud gaming, then you can play the Series X version just on a cloud. Cloud gaming, yeah. Cloud gaming, I think, is still very gimmicky. The technology is not quite there yet. Because with like audio streaming or video streaming as long as the video and audio that you're streaming is synced up right like if you're watching a youtube video for example there could be a delay between what you're watching on your screen and what the server's sending to you but you don't notice the delay because you're just watching the video right yeah but with a game you have to input into the game and then wait to see what happens and that alone makes game streaming so incredibly difficult because you have to get rid of that delay because if you're trying see? to stream call of duty on the cloud and be competitive you just can't see and not you only can't. that but um, Chase also plays Baldur's Gate 3 um, on the NVIDIA cloud streaming. Hmm. Uh, what's it called? Uh, G Cloud? For which no, one? that's the that's the Logitech one. Oh, yeah. NVIDIA Game Stream? Yeah. On the NVIDIA Shield? No, like it's yeah. on his laptop, but his laptop can't run the game. So he's hmm. running it, or he's playing on his Xbox maybe, but like... He's playing it through the NVIDIA cloud. Yeah, I yeah. can't think of what it's called. NVIDIA though. game stream. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, if like my big my biggest issue with uh, Game of the Year awards is it's all subjective, right? It's all based on personal preference. So instead of saying I think this is going to win Game of the Year, I can oh, tell GeForce you what. Now. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I knew it was some like catchy name. Not um, stream. Yeah, he was discontinued. Got it. Yeah. Um, but instead of saying, "Oh, this is gonna win like the biggest game of the year," I can tell you what my personal game of the year is, and okay. it would probably have Starfield. to be a mixture of 
uh, Spider-Man 2 or Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't finished yeah. Spider-Man 2, but Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man Miles Morales, I have the platinum for both of them, and I've okay. played them through multiple times. Okay. And I'm probably going to do the same with this. But Baldur's Gate 3, I have 70-something hours across three characters, and not a single one has made it past Act 2 yet. Yeah, there's so much like, to do in that game. It is and so, and, and it's every all single quality time, things to do, too. Yeah, like, and every single time I go with through with a different character, something's different. Mm -hmm. Because I choose a different group of people, and it just drastically changes what happens. Yeah. I mean, I killed Asturian on my playthrough because I don't like him. He tried to suck my blood in the night, so I killed him. Unacceptable. All my Wait, homies. You don't vampires. like him sucking your dick? I mean. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but he didn't say no, though. I hope you realize he did not say no. <laughs> no, I just. I, I thought he was a bad guy because he tried to, you know, consume my blood common connection there lock, so lock, i killed lock, him lock, lock. and then i realized like oh yeah if you would have let him like he would have like still been nice to you he wouldn't have killed you in your sleep i'm like i thought that's what he was trying to do <laughs> right so there's one My character bad. there's one character that if they die this uh, this isn't a spoiler i don't i mean it, it kind of is but i mean the game's been out for so long and there are so many different fucking ways to end the game based on what you do but if you take mm. in uh, Gale as a companion and you let him die in combat, um, his ghost will come to you and tell him, tell you that you need to revive him within three days. And if you don't, <clears throat> the world will actually end. What? You will get a game over. The world ends if Gale dies and is dead for three days? Yes. If you don't use a, a scroll of revivify or revive him, in three days, the world just ends. What the fuck? He has a he has a curse on him, and he's the only one that can stop something from happening. And if he dies, then yeah. World so ends like, in three if days. he died of natural causes, like in his sleep, the world would just end. No, but it it's it's part of the whole like. Okay, but like if he's dead in the, in the universe of the game, if he dies in his sleep or something, right? Like, then he, yes, technically, and. It's, so it's, why doesn't it's why not doesn't like he plot tell like, armor, but it's kind of plot armor. It's like this has to happen for this to happen. So okay. as long as he's, it's like um, it's the whole MCU theory about <laughs> um, what's what's Thor's dad's name? Uh, Odin. Odin. Once yeah. Odin died and like floated away in his dust, in, in fairy, fairy dust. dust. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sorry. Whenever he died and flew away with fairy dust, um, mm. that's what gave Thanos the confidence to finally go after the Infinity Stones. It's kind of the same thing. Once Gale died, it gives this thing that only he can stop the confidence to end the world. That okay? okay it's yeah, it's I the same. That. Yeah, but I thought uh, you meant, like if Gale flatlined, like the world would just. No, this isn't this, this isn't Death Stranding. All right, this is. I'm I'm gonna try it. There it is. Have you never played Death Stranding? I don't want to play Amazon Delivery Driver Simulator oh for a car, bro. I watched a playthrough of it. The Lord's not me owning both copies, but I just I, I would not. I own it multiple times. Play. I, I own don't think that gameplay would be fun. I own it on PS4. No one cares, Caleb. Uh, fuck you. You just. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Kyle. What's your pick for game of the year? Um, I already said it. Double action boogaloo. The fuck is double action boogaloo? It's not the crew motorboat. No, like... I I actually haven't played very much of that. Double action boogaloo is an old source game. Oh, okay, so it actually <laughs> is a game. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about like game of current 2023 um, release. I don't know, and I really don't care. Okay, Fair enough. <laughs> Out of the games that you've played, what is your favorite this year? Call of Duty. Okay. No, I'm I figured that shit. Um, out of the games, what fucking games have I played this year? Hold on. Hogwarts Legacy. I remember you played that. Oh that yeah, game that did come exist. out this year. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Diablo um, 4. <laughs> oh god. Ew. Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, Spider Man Two, Starfield, um, Baldur's Gate Three. Maybe Battle Bit, bro. Battle Bit, yeah, Battle Bit's fun. Battle Bit's fun. That is a I fun haven't game. played it. 
I can't um, say that it's fun, but I've heard it's fun. Steam. I'm going to look uh, at the Steam DB and watch that player count just go because it fell off. Hey, Dredge is up there, by the way. I've heard a lot of good things about Dredge. Dredge is a good game. Same with Dave the Diver. I've heard good things about that, too. Uh, ooh, ooh, game of the year, Echo Point Nova. Yeah. And it's no. not out yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, but uh, Severed Steel just got a huge style upgrade. I saw that. Dude. Hey, now what is you, just Now coming? you can have like a... Um, you have a oh. scoreboard. Oh, hey, Caleb, Jassant comes out in two days. What? Yeah. God. Sorry, I don't a day need to be in 13 money. hours. I don't need to be spending money, though. I'm not going to yeah, spend money. Yeah, me neither. I'm going to just drop in the podcast chat the uh, SteamDB chart for BattleBit because that game, as soon as the big streamer stopped playing it, it kind of just left the public consciousness. No, <laughs> no, no. I can I can tell you I completely agree with, um, once again, uh, prerequisite, I did not play it, but um, Luc Lafreniere um, from The Every Wayne time Show. Every his name. Yeah, every time. You always um, refer to the WAN show. I love it. Well, is it not the the yeah, anyway the, the, the uh, origins of Luke Lafreniere? Lafreniere. He um, didn't exist until he joined the, the <laughs> WAN show. Yeah, but um, he he basically said it the best way possible. Um, Battle Bit died because. The voting system doesn't matter. So if everyone votes for Conquest on a specific map, the game's like, nah, fuck you. We're going to go to Conquest on this map. Despite Wait, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. The voting system's broken and they haven't fixed it yet. So people are leaving the lobbies in droves to go find the Conquest that they're looking for. Yeah, to find the map that they like. And yeah. people are just getting tired of it. So... Once again, they do what I haven't Duty played does, it. Where they but, just make a 24-7 playlist of their most popular map. I don't know. <clears throat> but I agree I agree with him if it is uh if it is true that that that's doing that, then that would be a very big reason for people to yeah, be droves. Because players can't do what they want to do in the game. <laughs> like, exactly. Yikes. So, motherfucker, you answer your own question. What is your game of the year? I already said it's probably Baldur's Gate 3. Or Spider-Man 2. Despite not playing it? I have played Baldur's Gate 3. Not as much as I would have liked, but I've enjoyed what I've played so far. I, I'm, I'm going to need you to like... But I really enjoyed the story of Spider-Man 2. But the ending is very, very big sequel bait. which is Spider-Guy, kind of double action, boogaloo. <laughs> but Baldur's Gate 3, I have very much enjoyed my time with it. I have not played as much as I've wanted to, but I'm trying to find somebody to play with who has not experienced as much of the game as like Caleb has. So yeah. I've been trying to get one of my friends to play with me and he's down. He just needs to find the time. And then I think him and I are going to start a play through. But until that happens, I don't want to progress because I, I don't want to play that game by myself. I want to play it with somebody who's also experiencing everything for the first time with me. And that's yeah. the main reason I haven't put a bunch of time into it yet, because I'm trying to find somebody who hasn't played it much. And all of my friends on Steam have like 100 plus hours because it's a good game and they can't put it down. It's, it's <laughs> like, such a good fucking game, though. Like, it really which fucking game? is. Baldur's Gate 3. Which oh. is why I'm confident that if I have had put like 100 to 200 hours into the game already, I, it would be my game of the year without question. Because I picked it up initially not really knowing what it was, but I wanted to support the devs for a game in 2023 coming out with no microtransactions, no bullshit. Everything worked on launch. The game is good, it's refined, it's polished, like an actual good quality release seems rare these days from big AAA studios. So I bought this just to support the devs. Didn't think I would like it, but I wanted to support the devs. Turns out, it's a good game. I really yeah. like it. But like, if you make a game, and even if it's not a game that I'm hugely into, like let's say it's an RTS or something like that, but it's... No microtransactions, AAA quality, no bullshit, no battle pass. It works day one. I will support your game if I can. Like, I will support it here, folks. Game. He will support and throw money at anyone that does exactly what he wants. So um, I will support and 
anyone who makes a good quality product is my argument here. No. A game that comes no, out and not. launch and works. No, and fake news. Have fake news. Fake That's news. literally what I just said. If it doesn't fake have microtransactions, news. doesn't have a battle fake. pass, if the game works on day one. Fake. You know, the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Fake. Which AAA devs seem to be unable fake. to do with the fact that it took two years to fix Battlefield 2042, Halo Infinite, Cyberpunk 2077, and, you know, so on and so forth. It's... Eh. But publishers want the game out now. They'll fix it later. And no, do. I don't think it was the publishers. I think it was the fans. But that's beyond the point. The Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Fake news. Fix your games. I'm looking at you, City Skylines, too. Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, you can't just be calling them out like that. How dare you? I don't know. Have y'all seen the... Uh, the fucking Sleeping Dogs documentary. Don't care. Didn't ask. Fuck so the at the end. Bro, you commented on it before it even released. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I remember <laughs> Ryan doesn't time. even know. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm. Mm, yeah, it's really a video. Uh, yeah, he, dude, this dude dog. goes. <laughs> we set it up for a premiere because I wanted it to be like. And th that's what we're going to do from now on. Any. Game, like any documentary we do, we're going to do it as a premiere that way we can all watch it okay. together for the first time. But also, make sure on, you schedule me... it for like a day before it comes out, not like three days before it comes out, because I get annoyed scrolling through my YouTube and I just see premiere. Like, I can't even watch this yet. And it's just here in my. I thought it was. Screen. Yeah, no, no, it was definitely a day. It's definitely it one day. A day. Uh uh. Okay. Because well, I finished it at the last. <laughs> like, it, it read. Um, I had to fix the credits at the last minute. Um,. But at the end, he got really, <laughs> he, uh, the Eurogamer sure, and, <laughs> um, <laughs> Eurogamer and another gaming trends both had good and bads for the same thing. Gaming trends said that it was good because of these reasons. Eurogamer said it was bad because of the same reasons. So at the end, he's like, yeah, I'm looking at you, Euro gamer. And then that's how the <laughs> fucking thing ended. It was great. No, like, that like, wasn't wow, in the script. What a video all. of all time. Yeah. It's like, Hold it's on. one of my favorite comments know. to leave. This is one of the videos of all time. This Why? really is a video. Because that I is the most backhanded, sarcastic son of a bitch thing to do. Like, Why? It's it's really is it is video. the video of all time. It but is like, a video. But why not watch it, give feedback, so someone can actually grow? Oh my yeah, God. I'm just going to start downvoting all of his comments. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, gotta, so, I don't even know what happened. I feel bad. Happened, I, feel I got bad a pop-up on YouTube for leaving a disrespectful community. Like I, I got like in trouble. It said, like if you leave a comment like this again, like your channel will be removed. I'm like, what did I do? I, was I, I wonder if it don't was leave one us of, a suspense. Well, I don't know what it was. It didn't show me what the comment was. It just said, if you make a comment like this again, your community guidelines violation strikes will increase or something like what comment? You didn't show me what it was. Lord. Oh, my God. But I, I, I might have called like a feel biker bad. stupid for speeding and then popping a wheelie and then crashing. But, you know, maybe don't speed or pop wheelies. And then maybe I'm just crash, chilling here, but. looking at the most popular YouTube uh, videos on our channel. Arc, arc. Arc, 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 Starfield. Arc, 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 arc. Yep. <laughs> arc, 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 Sponge arc, arc, arc. Sponge <laughs> Eugene Krabs laughs in silver. But no, I, I made falling apart. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. I made Jeff feel bad though, because um, I sent him a list of all of the documentaries that we've done. I'm like, yours is officially the second most watched uh, documentary that we've published or that we've produced. Third it's like, yeah, checkmate, bitch. He's good at documentary we produced. Um, and he's like, yeah, but it's also the most downvoted. Wait, is it really? Yeah. None wait, of wait, which one? Six it's days in Fallujah, um, Severed Steel, and Ten Hearts have zero downvotes on all of them. His has four. Oops. Sleeping Dogs has four. No comments as to why it has four. No comments as to Here, why let, let people disliked it. Let me add another downvote. No. You 
It's not showing up on my end with the return dislike extension. It shows zero. And if I click on another video, it shows the actual dislike count. So I don't know what's going on. Oh my, uh, on my end, back end, it shows uh, oh. four. Nothing against you, Caleb, but I do enjoy his commentary. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. He is he is a professional actor. Yeah. There is a he reason. He's better at talking to the camera. Wait, which one? Fun was fact. He? I don't even remember. So, uh, he was in Sleeping Dogs. Oh, Fun fact. Yeah, I need to go watch that one. He it's didn't know. Video. He didn't read the script before he got there that day. That's oh. all NVIDIA broadcast. He wasn't actually looking at the camera once throughout the entire thing. He was right. reading from a script the whole fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, oh he's better eyes, talking to I the camera. I see his eyes moving. I see his <laughs> eyes moving. Dude, it well, gets thing, better as it's oh going in. Oh my God. <laughs> once you know, that's all you can see. But he, there was one, there was one time where he, uh, why we had to do a second take because I'm getting than your voice because I'm getting better at leveling audio okay. on the back end. I am getting better at some things. Oh, um, uh, uh, now that you pointed out the video broadcast, I can see the awkward like eyeball eye twitching. Did, yeah, no, no, <laughs> when he's looking at the screen and then look and then Nvidia takes over and looks back at the camera, you can see the eyes like pop out and move. Oh and yeah, pop back in. Well, and it gets better the longer you watch the video because we ended up moving the script to a di different section of the screen. Mm -hmm. So it's closer to the camera so it doesn't have to move the eye that much. Um, yeah. But yeah, there was one right towards the middle where it messed up so bad. He had to take a, a, pic a video and send it to his girlfriend. He was like, dude, this is all AI. I'm not looking at the cam. I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at a script the whole time. And he's like, this is what happens when it doesn't work. And he sent her one of the good ones. And this is what happens when it works. Like he was blown away. He didn't know that you could do that. I've used it for school projects before. There was a project where we had to memorize a, uh, like a business plan and read it out, record it, and then su submit it to a professor. And, um, I, forgot about the assignment until the last day. So I wrote up the business plan. I'm like, oh, I also have to record myself citing this in video broadcast on camera, middle script, middle of my screen. And yep. it worked. The professor couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I love doing it too. Um, Cause I was in the corner of the room, like right off camera here. And I had yeah. my gaming monitor rotated. So I had audacity and OBS over here and the script over there where the camera is and the entire time it was like we were in a studio you know it was it was fantastic okay there's one more thing real quick that i want to say before we end the uh the show here and it, it looks like star citizen may actually come out squadron no 42 squadron yeah. 42 is different from star citizen oh hey caleb real quick it's can you lift your game. microphone arm up no, i want not. to see something yes it is it is literally it is star citizen is the multiplayer of squadron 42 it's like yeah. the difference between call of duty's it's campaign and call of duty's multiplayer it's yes. the same different. game but it's still very different yeah it's all right Caleb, what did you want lift your mic arm up real quick okay like yeah, just do it yeah just, just lift it up okay you fixed it thank god what? <laughs> uh in in jeff's uh recording the fucking ltt cable tie is just loose as fuck oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> I fixed it after we finished recording. Welcome back to another episode of the Joystick Junkies podcast. Uh, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> God. You All right, well, let's just wrap it. Up right there. <laughs> let's just go ahead and wrap this up. Um, but as always, I am Caleb. This is Kyle. Hi, how are you? Cool oh, talk. This is Ryan. I want to Even die. better talk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for joining the 35th, 34th, one of the episodes of all time of the Joystick <laughs> yeah, Junkies the episodes. I'm going to have to post something else now. Yeah, fuck you, I'll Ryan. I'll change it to uh, this is the podcast of all time. There we go. Ah, uh, you ass. <laughs> but just, just, just delete all of his comments. Yeah, I'll just have to Keyword, do that. Keyword uh, YouTube comment ban of all time. 
every single time somebody types that phrase it, it just automatically deletes the comment. Uh, right. But so I guess we'll see you guys next week. Anymore. Wow. Why don't you? Why don't you just like I said, do Friendly something fire will not be tolerated. Exactly. Why don't you just do something that's constructive with the show and like give feedback? I've commented Anything a couple like times, haven't I? I don't even remember. I yeah, some Kyle of the early also ones. also said the yeah. same thing I have. Like, I think he copy-pasted one of my crappy comments. No, once. I don't think so. I'm sure he has. Probably. <laughs> I just have no. to look at my Steam community profile. No, I've commented on the shorts more.